I am Storm, and you can too. Today is December 31st, 2021, 5.45 p.m. I'm just doing a little look back at uh, the year that was 2021. start off by saying that it has been a year unlike any other in good and bad ways and I know based on some of my videos that I've shot that a lot of you you paid attention and you were there with me And uh, I just, I really want to say thank you for giving me those views. And I apologize that I'm not exactly the world's greatest content creator. I have all these great ideas, but, uh, well, putting them in action is never, well, never easy, I guess. Anyway. Um, I started the year trapped at my dad's house, which was actually kind of funny. I had my Nintendo 64 and all the time in the world to play it because I had to go on COVID protocols and go figure for the first time in my life, I got bored of my Nintendo 64. Growing up, you couldn't have... I mean, that would have been a dream come true. Two weeks, trapped in the basement. That would have been something just... Mini Storm wouldn't have known what to do with himself with all that time to play a Nintendo 64 and all the games that I ever wanted to play. Literally every single game available at my fingertips because I got one of those emulator cartridges. So, yeah. March was when uh, this project began. Of course, it's had its ups and its downs and its hitches. I think the one that uh, I'll probably hurt the most was obviously my wife's miscarriage. I can honestly tell you that I have not completely recovered from that. I still hurt. Um, it's a different kind of hurt as it was to the day I found out, it just, uh, it makes my house feel a lot more emptier when she's not there. Uh, it makes these car rides a little bit longer. A little quieter. But, uh, anyway. I hope in 2022 to actually follow through with a lot of the uh the promise that uh well quite frankly the promise that i should have had hammered out and ready to go um i really didn't have any excuses except for my financials why i didn't get more done and there's just no other way to put it. I, I need... This is year three of going into the living in this house. Year three of my marriage. I'm the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I don't have any children. I don't have any kids. And she's not pregnant yet as far as we know. And my cats aren't getting any younger. So I, I think it's time that we made some really big changes. So... I don't know. I just want 2022 to give me a good shot. Where I failed in 2021, don't let me fail again. Let me be a better husband. Let me be a better housemate. Clean up more. Ask questions less. 
Let me be a more understanding partner. Just want to be a better person than I was this year. You know? Just, I want to be able to look in the mirror and be proud of what I see again. Because right now I'm just indifferent. So I guess that's my New Year's resolution. Is to actually get some pride back. Guess that'll be as good as it gets. Anyway. Take a couple moments here to uh, Number one, I miss Ronnie. I miss having you at work. I miss bullshitting with you. And it really sucks that you're gone. Um, yeah. Uh, number two, Andrew, I still think about uh, you in the way that I just hope you know that I still am sorry about what, uh, what I said. It, it was wrong. I know you know that. No, I know that. I know everyone knows that, but uh, I still think about it. So, just I'm sorry. Uh, number three, to my wife, I love you, and I always will. And it didn't work out this year, but I'm determined. We're going to have a family, and I know it. To my mom and dad, um, I love you both. And although this wasn't the most greatest year in the world for everything, you know, I still, I wouldn't trade a year away from you guys for anything because, you know, I've, I've been away from you guys and I like being here with you more than I like being away. To my brother and my sisters, I'm eternally proud of you guys, you know that. And watching you guys become adults, it sucks ass. Because now I'm really graced with the fact of how old I am. But at the same time, it's cool because it's a whole different ball game with you guys. Even though sometimes it's the same stuff that it was back at dad's place all those years ago. Never change, never grow old. Because one day you're going to miss this. And Paul. That goes triple for you. To my grandparents, um, I'm glad that I have you walking into 2022. To my assistant manager and manager, we're a great team and I can't wait to uh, try and do our best this next year. To Leroy um, and, you know, your entire family, I, I wish every one of you well. Be strong, stay safe, buy me a pizza. And then to anyone else that catches this video, I just want you to realize I cannot guarantee that I'm going to shoot a video every single day, but I am back. In 2022 starts tomorrow, so... 
we'll see how tomorrow is for this project. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna go inside now and uh, just vibe out to Jason Hill and Pope is a rock star. Stay safe, have fun, party it up, and I'll see you on the other side. Remember Betty White, and rest easy Jerry Denning. Good night. Peace.